we had our first ever $2 million month in May. That was crazy. And we're really excited about that. It took us like 64 years to get to our first million dollar month. It took us like 19 months to get to our $2 million month. And I think that 3 million is going to be somewhere between like 12 and 14 months. We have a ton of momentum and we're, and we're excited. So everyone's feeling good. You can feel the ramp sometimes. Like, I mean, it's slower when you're like trying to get there. I think that's why people sometimes say, oh, building to 1 million is so much harder than building to 10 million. But realistically it's just different problems i mean you can feel the momentum but it doesn't make it any less hard i mean your problems just grow and become bigger there's still momentum behind you but it, it, it's not it's faster it's not easier yeah i think the thing that i'm enjoying it's like a two-part problem like the moves you make have greater leverage so like if i have a friend who runs like a three or four tech business and if he made a move on pricing or if he made a move on buying materials or like hey i want to launch drain cleaning or you know anything the difference would only be like 50 to 100 grand a year which is still like as money at, and at that size that's like a 10 to 15 or whatever percent increase but like we're doing right now in our drain business we're making a few moves we're like adding sewer lining and we're adding another excavation crew and like those two things which take me roughly the same amount of time as my friend like changing pricing or whatever maybe a little bit more like obviously that takes energy but like that's going to be four or five million dollars in like still this year we think so it, it is like each move has like more leverage you're finally giving drain cleaning some love like you've been avoiding them for a while and now you're like okay buddy we're gonna we're gonna next is gonna be septic you're gonna come back a couple months from now and go septic is on the rise drains are gonna get some love and this is like leverage so like you make these little or big you make these moves in a department or in like a, a thing and it's like moving a mountain with a small lever so like with hvac we more than doubled their revenue this year. I think we almost will triple it from last year. Like the moves there were a manager, two salespeople, and top grading some technicians. So like we actually only headcount increased only by like four or five people. And we tripled the revenue from 4 million. So it's not like it was like $200,000 or something. So we think drains is the same thing as what HVAC was, where we're going to take this department, which is like three and a half, four million right now. We're adding new install crews. We're adding a new capability with high gross margin, which is lining. And then we're going to basically add marketing dollars and a new sales practice. But like headcount's only going to adjust by like three, four people. And we think it'll double or triple. It is crazy. Yeah, but dra Drains is getting some love again. We feel like we have a path, but see, that's the downside. So I said there was an upside and the upside is like moves have big leverage. The downside is like you can ignore a department for a while for whatever reason, because maybe you're focusing on the one with the bigger leverage. And like, yes, when you get around to doing Drains, there's, you can unlock $5 million, but then it's also like why, like that sucks that we couldn't have unlocked that $5 million two years ago because it just gets ignored like it just is sort of the thing that produces cash it's a good problem to have i mean that it's not really i don't view that as a terrible downside i view the downside on that being if you pull the wrong lever it's an annoying problem we started actually charging money on service calls which like we really weren't good at doing and that added two million dollars a year of revenue to our to our business just like oh hey we should probably charge appropriately for this part or we should get, you know, two sold hours in an eight hour day. It's so like nothing complicated, nothing groundbreaking. But like, hey, we should probably cover our payroll. And we added $2 million. And so that's annoying because it's like, well, if I just added $2 million, it means I've been losing $2 million. I didn't add a single person to add that money. It was just like straight bottom.